Hey guys, I'm going to do a series of videos uh, to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to install uh, my Big Perm Build Chronos version 1.6 and then I'm going to set up another video, uh, part 2, which is going to show you how to uh, customize it with your Track.TV and your Real Debrid and your All You See accounts and then I'm going to do another video on how to tweak it uh, for you and for your system. All right, so this is going to be part one of three, and this is going to be to install Kodi on a fresh version of Kodi, uh, Krypton. Uh, preferably, you'd want 17.6. All right, without further ado, let's take a look, show you how to do this. 17.6. As you can see, this is a fresh build. Um, what you want to do first is click on the gear icon. If I'm going too fast for you, uh, just pause the video, uh, rewind it, and uh, follow along. File Manager, Add Source. You want to type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash advanced Cody.ca slash wizard forward slash. Okay, write that down. Then in the description below, uh, I just put dot big perm because that is the wizard. Click OK. Then you want to back out one. Back out again, go down to the add-ons, click enter, where it says zero up here. Uh, if there's a one or a two or a three or whatever, then you want to update. Do the updates first. Then you're going to click on the little uh, drop box. You're going to go to zip file. And then it's going to ask you for uh, to check off unknown sources. You want to, uh, yes, you want to enable it. You're going to go unknown sources, click yes. Show notifications, click yes. Then you want to go down to standard and you want to put in expert. Okay. Now uh, in display, you want to change this 1080p, make sure 20. Yes. Don't worry about my TV, it's uh, just calibrating for it. Okay, so that's perfect. You want to go to audio. If you have a home theater system, you want to change that to 5.1. Uh, if you're running it through TV speakers or a sound bar, you want to keep it on two channel. Scroll down. I hate that clicking sound, so I go none on the GUI sounds. If you have a home theater system, uh, allow pass through and Enable Adobe Digital and enable DTS. Input. Don't need to do anything. Internet access. Don't need to do anything. Shutdown timers. Nothing. And uh, gonna back out. Okay. Now you want to install from zip. You want to click that uh, big perm or whatever you named it from, and then uh, add the zip file. This uh, zip file can take, uh, depending on your internet connection, can take generally maybe up to 20 seconds to install. Just uh, be patient. If you like uh, the video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and then uh, turn, click on the little bell as well uh, below the video here so that you can uh, get notifications of every time I update a video. Uh, keep you guys in the loop, make sure you're on top of things and you're getting uh, full advantage of what Cody cannot bring you. As you can see, I work on this a lot. It's uh, 1.30 in the morning, making this video for you guys. There it is. Now you want to go to install from repository. 
Okay, came up for us. So as you can see, um, version 1.6, I am going to change this background so you can read it better. Uh, I added uh, metallic to the widgets. I enabled autoplay and 4K sources in all the sources, video sources. Updated the NAND scrapers. Updated Exodus, Rebirth, Elysium, and Uptune Rising to the latest. Removed updated and updated providers. And uh, yeah. So I'm just going to dismiss that. Now in the wizard, you want to check off login data and you want to check off whitelist. And you want to make sure you have those four and those three. Okay, if you have favorites and stuff, then you can click on favorites as well. Hit continue. Uh, just don't worry about this at the moment. Hit continue. It's going to take you to the build. Make sure you're on Kodi uh, Krypton. This is will not work on Jarvis and will not work on uh, 18 Layla at the moment. Okay, so you want to click on 1.6 Kronos. Go to your save data menu. Just make sure that you have oh crap, whitelist turned on, save login, reel to Brid, and save track. Make sure those are turned on. Go back one. You want to click fresh install. Since we're on a fresher version of Kodi and click continue. Now it's installing the build. I'm letting this go the full time so that uh, you can see how long it takes. So I won't fast forward it or anything like that for you. But you can fast forward it. It's 1.30 in the morning. You're probably hearing my dog snore. She's sitting beside me. I do have a uh, website that I'm working on um, so that you guys can uh, get the latest news and stuff via my website. I'm just about done it. I've got uh, a couple more couple more things to do here. Here's uh, what the website's looking like so far. Got your big perm wizard. So, videos on it. First. Uh, Chronos build. With videos that go along with it Paragon, Cosmos, uh, tutorials. So, we're going to have tutorials on Real to Brid, Tracked, all that stuff in there. All you see. So, just a nice little website for you guys. Okay, so you're going to force close. If you're on an Apple TV, you're going to double tap the square button and uh, swipe all the apps that are in the background and uh, to force close it. If you're on an Android device, you want to click force close and then you want to pull the power and plug it back in on a Mac just like this.
Okay, then you want to open it back up. So, metallic, the add-on, doesn't load properly the first time. So you are going to need to do one power down cycle, um, one more power down cycle to get uh, metallic to show up properly. Okay, so as you can see, there's no widgets up top right now. So what you want to do is you want to go to power again, exit, Apple TVs and stuff. You want to make sure you uh, double tap the home button and uh, swipe up, get rid of all those apps. Uh, your Android device, pull the power after you close it down. And then, uh, actually no, you don't need to pull the power. You just need to make sure it's closed. Open it back up, and then now metallic will show up. Just give it a couple seconds, let it do its little thing down at the bottom right. Okay, make sure that's all happening down there. Now, there's your metallic. Okay, so that's how you get metallic to load up properly, is you just gotta do it twice. And uh that's it for the moment. I'm going to shut, uh, quit this video and uh, I'm going to uh, do part two, which is going to show you how to link all your accounts. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Like I said before, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for part two.